Hello and welcome to episode 20, which is where we learn about lifting the pen up and putting the pen down when working with the turtle. Because, of course, logo turtles carry pens. That's why they leave a line behind them when they move. So if we run this code here where it says turtle move 30, it's going to draw a line behind it. And there you go, there's the turtle drawing its line. But what we can do is we can get the turtle to lift up at the pen. And pen up. There we go, too easy. And we'll copy that again. And he'll go another 30 without his pen up. So let's watch this. There you go. So he moved 30, drawing his pen. He lifted up his pen and then he went another 30, but he left no trace behind because he put the pen down. This is very good for drawing dotted lines. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Okay. So let me just close that. Oh, there you go. I've just completely closed small basic. So let's just open that up again quickly and I'll show you what I mean. So, just ignore that. That's just my two dogs having a disagreement with one another. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop. So, for i uh, equals 1 to 5, for instance. So, this is a loop that's going to run five times. N4, and in it, I'm going to have my turtle. I'm going to move um, 30. Then I'm going to lift the pen up. Turtle, pen up. Then I'm going to move another 30. There you go, just ignore that. That's a greyhound again. And then I'm going to put the pen down. So, we'll talk about what this does in just a second. Pen down. So, um, it's going to move with the pen on the ground, leave a mark, lift it up, move another 30, put the pen down again, start the loop over again. So, when we watch this, you'll see that it's going to draw a dotted line. There you go. Now, went off the screen, which is a little bit inconvenient, but here's what you're going to do. It is your time to code. You are going to write a program such that you draw a square made out of a dotted line. So just to repeat, using the turtle, you're going to draw a square where the line around the edge of the square is a dotted line. I think you can probably do this on your own, but I'll be back in part B in case you need me.